Welcome back to another episode of Real Talk with Adore and Daisy. How y'all feeling today? What's going on? Feeling good. What's the deal? Nothing much. Before we get into our episode, we do like to check in on our guest's mental health. So how's your mental health? Man, fucked up. No, I'm good. I'm chilling. <laughs> nah, it might be fucked up. It's always a little truth in it. No, no, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm learning how to deal with everything, so it's, I'm cool. That's good. You Amen. got a lot going on. Yeah. A lot going on. Literally. How's your mental health? Um, my mental health is good. It's good. I was just asking. Y'all know she love when I check on her. Yes, so. because you know the last few weeks, my girl been kind of like forgetting to ask me how I've been. Uh-huh. So, so I'm glad you asked today. How are you, Adore? I'm good. I'm great. I'm great. We got a long overdue guest. Yeah. Please let the people know who you are for the people who don't know. Uh, I go by the name of Babyface Ray. Originally from Team Eastside. Uh, that's it. My boy, baby. Y'all want to add on it? <laughs> See, they know who I am, so y'all can add to anything y'all want. If y'all want to, go ahead. You know, nah, you cool with me. I ain't, we ain't going to do you like that. I feel that. like it's some type of beef or something. <laughs> like, y'all been acting crazy. Listen, so y'all, good. we've been on his head for so long. And, like, all I just got to say is be consistent. What you want, go come. No, you sure. know? I would like to publicly apologize. <laughs> Because I get a little crazy sometimes. I still don't know what you said, but <laughs> what you say? She just you snapped me. a little bit. You, you, right me. you call me on my name? No. What'd I just basically was like, okay, did you forget about us? Like, you had a lot going on, and I wasn't I wasn't thinking about everybody else. I was thinking about us. Truth be told, you know what I'm saying? Like, when y'all reached out, probably I had my album thing going on. And I don't think people know, like, when you're dealing with a higher scale, they, they put uh, promo runs together. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it wouldn't, no disrespect to y'all and it's just, you know, it is what it is. But we appreciate that or whatever. Like, I had to learn that, like, especially with dealing with, like, you know, bigger people, that it's a time for everything. And I was just in my feelings. But, you know, I personally took that because, obviously, we know you. So no, that's for what, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I know y'all, too. <laughs> and that was another thing. I had to make sure y'all was serious about what y'all was doing. But once I seen that y'all, I liked that y'all vibe, I'm like, let me come on there, you know, do what I can do. We glad. Whatever I can do can help, you know what I'm saying? We I'm glad sure you did your research, because we did our research on you as well. All right, come on. <laughs> so before we get into this episode, this episode is brought to you by Motul VJ. That is the eye candy wine, and Ray is going to taste it for us to tell us how it is. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> It was a little hot. I'm sorry. My mama drink wine, so I didn't tap their wine a few times. That's that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that was our review for the wine. Make sure y'all check it out. It is black owned. You can find it in uh, your local liquor store. If they don't have it, just make sure you tell them it's the wine that they should get. What's the name of it again? Motu BJ. Eye candy. Eye candy. Shout out to eye candy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Shout out to them. So, what you got going on this year? Uh, nothing. Just coming off, you know, dropping my um the Mob album. We about to go on tour in April. I got um V's and um SB from New York on there. We are gonna do like twenty five places and turn up. That's so lit. I'm so proud of y'all. Thank you. Yeah, and came a long way for yeah. sure. Yeah. How you feeling mentally? I feel good. You know, I just feel. I try to not think about so much. Of, you know, cause we here. Like the future, what it's gonna be? I try to live in the moment now. Yeah, and I feel like that's what the difference is. Before then, I was just working, 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 working. But it paid off though. You know? Was there ever a time that you wanted to give up? Hell yeah, hell yeah. What kept you going? Like during them times that you wanted to give up, like what? What's the pro- like? What be the problem? I mean, just dealing with you know the everyday life with the real shit. You know what I'm saying? And the shit that keep you motivated is like the fans and the people that you motivate through your music. You know, mm-hmm. when you start going through like 
life for dealing with. You know, just real life shit is just be like, man, was it all worth it? You know what I'm saying? Because you can remember back when you wasn't doing this at this scale, it wasn't like that. Everything was kind of like, so shit kind of changed and it had you like discouraged a little bit. Talk about a time being discouraged. Like, we have, I'm not even going to say get turned down, but like, when we reach out to people and they got to wait, you know, see if we serious or it just not might not be the right time for them to come on, like, we know that. So, I know agree. the feeling for sure. We know the feeling. You got to keep going. You got to think about it. For me, too, like, as an artist, like, I've been a fan of music for so long. Now I finally made it here. You think I can just do music with a artist that, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, you just got to keep going until they see you, I feel like. That's what we doing. <laughs> That's what we doing. So about your um, tour, like um, I seen that it was posted, the dates was posted, and where you, you know, where you was going. Like, yeah. I know you've been on tour before. How, like, what's life like on the road for? Peaceful. I was just telling my man, it's like tours, like you know, someone be like, take a vacation. And that's my peace, cause you be like away from everything, and then being on the bus is like. I don't know. You get to, like, think, you know what I'm saying, and take it all in for real. And it's lit pulling up in times, meeting different people, doing shows, and getting back doing it. You know what I'm saying? So it's cool. I ain't going to lie. I fuck with tour. <laughs> I fuck with tour. <laughs> <laughs> That's lit, though. That's lit. Any any acting going on? Acting? Mm-hmm. Nope. No. You ain't stepped into that bag? We've been talking about Tubi movies with my people lately. I want to. Because it's up. It's up I right see. now. It's up. He's mm-hmm. been on my head about it. I'm in like, That's I'm what tripping. I, you so, might be. You might need to step in that lane. No, we're going to try to go with uh, do a couple movies. And I'm about to start trying to like direct some of my videos for my music. Like I got this new video. I'm about to try to put like a hip-hop, uh, Detroit hip-hop love. Put some key uh, rappers in there, a couple ladies in there. Just spice it up. Okay. That's like the creativity to this shit, you know what I'm saying? Definitely need it. Definitely need the creativity. So about the hard times, you saying like the the fans motivate you. What else keeps you going when you wanna give it? Shit. We get more money for sure. Thanks. <laughs> we ain't gonna never you know. And also having, you know, children and shit that you know depending on you. So it's like you can't stop. You can't stop. Because they it's like nah. They to the age where life is kind of, you know, it's good right now. So I can't, I feel like I got to keep going. I can't tell them no. They got to get what they want when they want it. How was it growing up um, being from Detroit? Um, tell us, like, how your life was like as a kid growing up. Regular kid shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's regular kid shit? I mean, you know, y'all know, y'all knew me as a kid. We asked for the people. We, like, shit, we was chilling. I don't know. You Whatever. was chilling? Yeah. yeah. What was I doing? But it's like, you know, growing up, you know. We... Knew, what? what was I doing as a kid? How was life for us as a kid? Y'all grew up with me. Well, I watched you do music. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same yeah. shit, though. Yeah. You know, I tried to hoop. Hoop ain't working out for me. I started, you know, hanging out, trying to. Be in the streets, hanging out with people in the streets, doing music at the same time. You feel me? Same old shit. The music is for you. You you always been hard. Thank yeah, you. Appreciate definitely. That. Appreciate that. Cause it's like sometimes, do you ever feel like you're living in a dream? Hundred percent. Cause I was a big dreamer. Like everything, I used to. You know, shit like this. I used to dream about <laughs> shit like this. So I was like, when it be happening, it be fucking me up. But it is what it is. You got a lot of people that look up to you. A lot of people. No, for sure. And I'm glad I can be somebody for niggas to look up to. Yeah. You definitely one of the hardest. Especially in the times of what's going on. I don't mean, it's fucked up right now. So when I be out, niggas be showing me love. Hey, I fuck with that. It's all love. I love love. Yeah. Yeah. What's your, what's your love life like? My love life. I love love, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> I love being loved, don't we all love being loved? Yeah, we do. Yeah, and I love loving someone too. So. Yeah, I got a lyric. Um, it says, stay t- true to yourself. Word of advice, do it yourself. What song is that from? That's my song. <laughs> Stop playing with me, dog. 
<laughs> say the lyrics again. I have to say it a little slower. Stay true to yourself. Word of advice. Do it yourself. You might be saying a different thing. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm no rapper. So, do I got it wrong? My thoughts? Stay true to yourself. Pop sprayer? Hmm? What's the name of it? My thoughts? Pop sprayer? Oh, stay true to yourself. Where do you like me to do it? Yeah, you were saying it wrong. I know. Oh. <laughs> no, you can't like read it out. Yeah, pop sprayer. I probably was like super. Um, <laughs> Tug, I don't know. He talking about that's my song. <laughs> but I wanted you to um, elaborate on how you how you feel about that. Stand true to yourself. Where do I do it? Stand true to yourself. Like, just don't get out of character. I feel like, like, I didn't know when I first started doing music. When I was doing music, I was doing music because I was passionate about it. And then once I kind of like got in the music industry, I learned that entertainment was a big key in that shit. And that sometimes you might see an entertainer, rapper, and character. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not kind of like you. You ain't gonna never see me acting crazy or doing nothing out of the ordinary. So that's just me staying true to myself and doing it myself. I feel like it took a little bit longer for me because I didn't have an entertaining aspect to it. I just was flat out, like, just putting the music out and doing me, so. Right, because a motherfucker put on a skirt, a pink wig, or anything, you yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, that's they, if that's bringing in a bag for them, and that's what they like, I ain't knocking that. Like, I'm not against that, but I'm not doing Yeah. That. And it can be something beyond that, like, you know in your gut when you want to do something when you don't want to do something. And I feel like some people go against their gut feeling for money, fame, clout. You know what I'm saying? So I'm one of the people that always trust me. You know what I'm saying? So, and yeah, look where out. I got you. Yeah, it worked <laughs> out. Yeah. Thank you, God. I even, it was times where I thought it was over with. I always speak on, you know, Dej Low from T. Grizz to getting on because I've been doing music for so long before them and watching them get on. That was like probably the biggest moment in my life where I was like, I mean, this shit over with, you know what I'm saying? And then it finally, like, started working out for me. So at the point when you took off, like, what was, like, your exact thoughts? Like, how did you feel? It was different from, like, how I feel now. We was in mode, like, you know what I'm saying? We was just working. And it was just, like, everything we touched was fire because we was actually, like, moving around and, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, kind of, like, out and built the team and got my ideas up. We all started working towards one goal. Like me being an artist and somebody helping while you being an artist is a big help. People don't know that. Like they look at me and my success and be like, man, Ray, you came a long way. The structure and the team that was built around, you know what I'm saying, what I had going play a major part too. Because you got people that's working for you when you you know you, you just do your part and they do their part. So let's talk about it. How important is it to have a team? Oh, man, key. And I feel like, you know, that's key. <laughs> That's key. I feel like a lot of artists, especially Detroit artists, because we've been doing it for so long, they feel like they don't need no team or they don't want nobody cutting into, you know, a piece of their hard working. But that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it helps a lot. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot of stress off the artist. You can't do everything yourself. So It's so crazy because we are so, our mind is like, solo, dolo. I could do this on my own. Man. We was really like that, so it's kind of hard to, like, get out of that to know. Like, But, you know, if you want more, you're going to need more hands. You're going to need more help. Okay. Once you realize that, like, it's a go. You gotta, And once you get a good team, the sky's really the limit. I swear. Especially if you're serious about what you're doing, you know. So, at what point did you get a team? I know, like, it was all a process, but, like, you know, like, coming up, you know, starting stuff, like, you know, it's a, it's a process, so like, can you explain the process? That's what I was getting at. <laughs> uh, I was I was going, and as I was going, like, I started fucking with Empire, and I was kind of like learning as I was dropping music, like the things that they would do, you know what I'm saying, in the position they had put people to do the certain stuff, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my homegirl reached out to me, Caroline, and she she was trying to get me on Interscope at the time. And I told her to come be my manager. And she came and we kind of like, she has my ideas and we put it together. That's dope. That's dope. Y'all know Diego. Diego, you know, that's my friend. We've been friends before the music. He kind of was around, you know, so we just put it in play. And we all helped each other. Let her hear it. Let her hear it. 
We mm-hmm. still we building our team right now too. Y'all yeah, see. We building our team, you know. You see we see Shout out to the ones behind the camera. They don't never get to see <laughs> mm-hmm. y'all. So yeah. shout out to the team. Y'all doing a good job. Man. For sure. Yeah. They got us looking good on camera, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, how, that's how I found y'all. Like, look at them. They really on their shit. Yeah, everybody say that though. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of all of us. <laughs> when y'all met Wallow and Gilly, what kind of game they gave y'all? All of it. For sure. Literally. Like, they was real helpful. And it was like our first time meeting. And we had, um, we went to their show in Chicago. Yeah. Well, we reached out to the manager or something. I think we reached out to the manager. She told us, like, okay, we got to be here. And yeah, I can get y'all backstage. We literally, did we fly? Yeah, we flew. Mm-hmm. We literally, like, got on the next flight. Like, okay, we paid we $500 to go. each for the flights. <laughs> just, mm. to, just to go to Chicago. Like, because we knew if we drove, we was chancing. I had to get babysitters. You know how that shit. So, we still ended up making it down there. And once we got down there, we watched the show. We got to go backstage and kick it with them. And they just told us, like, everything that we need, everything that we've been doing. Like, they literally told us, like, what to do, how to keep going. And just, you know, like, the people that we want, they go come around. Like, and then they ain't buy it. So. No, for sure. It's up. They was real, for sure. Yeah. No, them boys, they was the real deal. They pulling up by themselves. You know what I'm saying? Same way y'all. Facts. They still doing this at the level they at right mm-hmm. now. They still doing it. So just don't lose that drive. They love Detroit. Yeah. They love we all love of them. y'all. <laughs> they don't know how much they motivate us. You know what I'm saying? Just by mm-hmm. coming from where they come, I be telling them all. Well, I be saying in my head, like, while I was doing 20 and mm-hmm. Gilly being a rapper, and y'all still finding a way to turn it up, mm-hmm. that shit lit. They definitely told us to, to have you on. I think that's when we first started reaching out. They yeah. told us to have you on. They told no, they didn't do it. They did. This was before our shit or after? Before what oh, shit? Me and Alligan. Before this episode. Oh yeah. yeah. I think it was No, this it was, was after, after his episode. Oh, okay. It was after yeah. your episode for sure. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. He definitely gonna they definitely gonna be happy to see this. Yeah. Cause it's like getting advice from people that's like so much further ahead, like Anything like is possible, like especially like coming from Detroit. Like I really be wanting to work with a lot of people in Detroit, obviously because we are from the same city. But some people make it hard, and then yeah. some people, you know, just be easy going about it. And I can't be mad at the people that make it hard because I mean, I can't tell them how to feel. Man, you gotta know, like for me, and then probably other art, Detroit artists that feel like that, they don't really be knowing what to expect to. Like, mm-hmm. we ain't, we ain't. We, we regular niggas, we ain't never get coached on proper etiquette or how to speak. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. niggas be, might be like, might not be y'all, might be them. They might not yeah. know what y'all try to bring, drag them into and how to stop it. And you look up, that shit can be career ending. Mm-hmm. That's so a fact. That's a fact. You got to be real careful about who you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever been in an interview where it was going left? And if so, how did you stop it? Not really too much. Like, something I couldn't handle, but it's definitely been questions. Ask me, it was like, why you even ask me that? Like, come on now, that's crazy. Yeah, we don't really get into that. Yeah. No, everybody that come up here, they say they live it here. I mean, we just want to know, like, you know, some stuff, the obvious, you know. But. Well, yeah. What's the obvious? Questions we asking you. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was about to be, bring me to my next question. What's something about Babyface Ray that the world don't know? I don't know. I'm a simple guy. So you a simple guy? I feel like me. <laughs> I don't like nothing extravagant that y'all probably don't know. Like I like everything everybody else like. You know I, mean? I just do music and niggas fuck with my shit. So mm-hmm. ain't no like secret silly shit going on. <laughs> you get on my nerves right here too. <laughs> I didn't even say nothing. I'm just. It's nothing that people don't know about you. Um, like what? Just something they don't know. Like you like, do you like to play the game? Like stuff like that. Yeah, I feel like they know that. Okay. I'm on Twitch, so yeah, I like to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> I like movies. Like. No. Did you go see Creed? Yeah. I it was, don't talk about it because I didn't go see it. Yet. I, <laughs> I was supposed to be going last night. I was Why? lost a little bit. <laughs> go ahead. You yeah. just said you fell asleep, but of course you was lost. Yeah. You didn't that's, see it. That's what I know. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to go see it last night. I guess I something happened. You know. Yeah, go check it out. It ain't that bad though. Yeah, you wanted to see my questions, but um Man, what's up with y'all, man? I'm taking over, man. What's up with y'all? What's up with us? Um yeah. life, how's is life? life. Yeah, how life being, you know. Life is life. Just pursuing uh 
taking a risk by pursuing podcasting. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's cool. It's cool. I just think that it's a lot of work. Any anything where you don't have like a mentor or somebody telling you how to do or what to do, like it's trial and error. So it's a risk. Yeah, you are gonna learn yeah. a lot just you know risking and going out there not knowing. You're going to learn a lot, but you're going to fuck up a lot, too. So. Mm -hmm. The hardest part for me was not taking stuff personal. Like, that was my biggest thing. I was taking a lot of stuff personal. personal. I know that now, but I'm saying, like, just this is the first thing I've ever done, like, as a business. So it's like, I didn't know that. Yeah. Tell me I'm not, <laughs> tell me I'm not lying. Let me teach y'all something right now, too. <laughs> teach us something. The DM sliding in about talking about the podcast may be small talk to me. Something else they want to. So learn that as beautiful women. A nigga might be saying something to you like they want to get on a podcast, might be capping, might try to, you yeah. know what I'm saying? We, we've now, already been We know that. that. So we you know that. that too. Like, definitely don't take that for real. Yeah. Yeah, no. I, I mean, niggas done been in y'all DM just like bullshitting around because they want to get on. Like, every day. All right. All the know. time. Somebody, they DM me the other day, like, do you have a talk show? That's the obvious. I post it every day. Like, stop <laughs> But back to her answer. I'm waiting on Oh, you. back to that answer. You know, it's complicated. It's complicated. I personally think it would have went different if you was there. So. I didn't show up. You talking about this show shit we talked about before the camera? What you talking about? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> we had a guest. They had an issue in high school a long time ago. Who? <laughs> Her and the guest had an issue, but we was moving forward. So you know, we was planning on doing a podcast, but the girl wanted to talk to her before the podcast. They talked, and that conversation made a door not want to do it anymore. She didn't come. So then I just do it with them. We record the whole episode. Two days later, she says she don't want the episode to come out. She want to re-record with her. How you been? No, I'm not. You is because you got to show up. You got to have thick skin and just, like, go in. Don't you think you, come on, man. Don't do that. I thought the same thing, but hey. Because now you ruining the, the genuineness of the original video to try to get your rocks off. Oh, we ain't going to do it again. We not doing didn't. it again. No. Did y'all drop it? No. no. But I'm saying, like. You know this person? Yep. <laughs> I, I feel like some things you have to say no to for, like. 100%. Some things, that was just something I felt in my spirit and in my heart that I had to say no to. Yeah. And then even when I was okay with it, even when I took my feelings out of it. Some shots got through at you during the interview, you feel? No, we didn't do it. I thought you said she I did, did it. She, she, I, she, I never even seen it. Even see it. Yeah, she ain't watch it. So what you... Oh. <laughs> some shots got took at her during the interview. So my point, the moral of the story is I used to take a lot of things personal. That point, I felt like I didn't take it personal in the beginning, but I ended up taking it personal in the end. That's why I said, I ain't doing this. And I know that the bigger we get, it's not about me. Like, it's not, but if you make stuff weirder than what it already is, it's just like, yeah. but. Well, yeah, not, that might be good for entertainment, too. You know that was bad. <clears throat> this one right Hello. here. I mean, I, that was just my guess, because, I mean, we, we she are She wanted us to talk about it on the camera. Yes. This, hell yeah, because this is what y'all, this, like, this is taught, like. That's what be, people want to see. Y'all might be teaching two other people that got a problem something. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what y'all do. Like, they ain't going to, come on now, what if other people in situations, like, oh, girl, they talking about <laughs> Exactly. They everybody would have I didn't, honestly, I didn't feel like we should have talked about it, being that it was 10 years ago. But y'all still talked about it on the phone. That's why we ain't do it on camera? We're pen. I want to write down this problem <laughs> and show you. Hold on. <laughs> it is, you are not going to guess it. It's uh, so petty. It's so petty. <laughs> Duh. Uh-uh. Anyway. What is we talking about then? That's what Anyways, I'm back to my outfit. <laughs> Shout out to my homeboy, Jay Nutty, Trap the Brand. Take risk and prosper. It's something that we all do every day. So make sure y'all shop with Trap the Brand. You know, I've been rocking with them for a long time. That's where my draggy came from. Why y'all ain't bring me one? Um, I would have to get y'all size. Here, look out, though. Right. So besides your tour, what's more can the people expect from you this year? We at the top of the year. 
I don't know how many days we got. I should have watched Wallow's story today. He would have told us. <laughs> just leveling up, you know what I'm saying? Just whatever I'm doing now, just finding out how can I do it bigger and better. You know what I'm saying? I want to open up a studio. I want to get artists, producers, and stuff. So that's what I'm going to start working that's towards. That's lit. Yeah. So you looking at artists to, like, not really, just the artists that surround me for real that I feel like I can help with. And then we're going to drift off into, you know, start looking around. Period. Who are you? Who else are you working with? Um, Samuel Shabazz, um, Space the producer. He's from Arkansas. He's been doing a lot of my music. Uh, I just want my space right now. You ever heard that? Mm -hmm. That's him. He do those beats. Uh, my little cousin, Rockstar Rally. Uh, this guy from um, Houston, King Hendricks. He's stupid hard. Um, you know the usual suspects that's around, though. Los Nutty, World Tour Mafia. And whoever else you see me with, you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I always want to know where Daisy Lane Records came from. <laughs> Daisy Lane Records is an actual place where Los Angeles used to do their thing, but they just turned them to a brand. I just felt like, you know. What? Daisy being Daisy, oh, you know. I, I just was, I, when that know. song came out, she had just uh, upgraded her chain, and she was in the video posting it to that song. Like, yeah, like this was for me. This no, you was the first Daisy. Sure. <laughs> no, for real. I went in the club the other day, girl, and it was a Daisy in there. I went to, I told Will, I said, Put it Stop, to the side. "Yeah, come on, man." They were shouting her out. Yeah, no, she was going on stage to dance. So I'm like, I gotta see. Daisy, it. get to the stage. Yes, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, you being funny. Look down and everything. <laughs> like, yeah, you trying to be funny? Stop playing. Yeah. But yeah, that shit blew me. Like, come on, y'all gotta have put some respect on my shit. <laughs> Where did Daisy come from? Shar Daisy. The people didn't know that. Just let y'all know, Shar Daisy. So I forgot who called, started calling. Who started me that? I don't know. Had him in a wavy motherfucker right there. They say wavy as hell, huh? No, that was a long time ago, though, for sure. Big Daisy, you know. Well, excuse us. No, for real, though. You sure it will be Big Daisy in a couple of days? For sure. That birthday is coming. Happy birthday coming up, I'm too. So I know I'm so happy. So happy. I'm so happy. Yeah. My girl getting up there. Too. Yeah, live it up, man. Man. Bahamas, white sand. Anything else you want to tell the people before we get out of here? Um, just, you know, whatever you focus on, stay focused, man. Don't let nobody knock you off your square. Stay motivated. Keep doing, keep doing. That's it. Say my lyric one more time since I said it wrong. <laughs> stay true to yourself. Wear the advice, nigga. Do it yourself. All right. <laughs> yeah. Word to the people. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tell the people where they can find you at on Instagram. Babyface Ray on Instagram. You got TikTok? Yeah, official Babyface Ray. You be TikToking? You know what my manager be showing? She got something going on where she be showing off my outfits on there. Oh, okay. okay. So today. It That's ain't like no crazy reacting. I don't be doing that. <laughs> I was on there with my daughter once. That's it. But other than that, Twitter, M-I-A, Babyface. I thought that we was going to see you dancing, but I guess not. I don't know how to dance. No? Nah, a little, little two-step. Ain't no real. Oh man, I be trying though. <laughs> Get in your TikTok bag. You better do something on that tour. No, for sure. I'm gonna be in my bag jumping up. You know, I'm gonna know <laughs> what to do, but yeah, I don't know how to do all that crazy stuff. Well, y'all know where to find us on all platforms. RT adore the letter N Daisy. That's Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter. Um, you can also follow us on. I mean, watch us on YouTube at the Uprising Network. Shout out to Real Talk Radio for real. Until next time. Yeah.